This is the end of an era for Rayman Legends. So the last Rayman console game is Rayman Legends and released almost 10 years ago on the 29th of August 2013 on Wii U, PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. It's quite sad to think that all we had since is just ports of this game for the consoles. The game then released on PS Vita in September 2013, then on Xbox One and PS4 in February 2014, on Nintendo Switch in September 2017, and finally on Stadia in November 2021. Yes, Stadia, I'm not kidding. We certainly had some mobile games that were good, then became worse and worse with time, plus using the same engine and graphics than Rayman Legends, but we've never had a real new Rayman game. Rayman is one of the few franchises that got so poorly cared in the last decade. Crash and Spyro got their remakes, Benjo and Kazooie got its bash, but Rayman got nothing yet. Well, at least it's coming back in Mario Plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope in 2024, but it's still a long time for a little thing. Nonetheless, Rayman Legends was still alive thanks to the online features including challenges, but in October 2019, Rayman Legends servers went down for a few days. The community contacted Ubisoft for that issue and it got solved. Except for PC servers. What the dog doing? And even though a dev was literally asking other people to fix the servers, he got no response. If you want more info, the PC servers are not located at the same place that the ones for other consoles. So yeah, that's how PC servers went down three years ago. Even if the servers were sometimes on for all gen, they were always fixed, so it was fine. But then Ubisoft sadly announced on the 26th of April 2022 the shutdown for PC servers. Because yeah, they've always been alive, obviously. But uh, unfortunately, they announced on the 1st of July the shutdown for PS3, Xbox 360 and Wii U for 1st September 2022. So what I decided to do is that I would play the last changes ever in Rayman Legends on all gen. But uh, you know what? Ubisoft decided to announce one day before the shutdown that they would delay it for months after I recorded, of course. So the end of all gen is actually October 1st, 2022. Okay, here we go guys. This is the last day of the challenges. We are actually on October 1st and the servers are still up. So it's only a matter of few hours before they shut down forever. So I'm playing on Wii U if you're wondering. This is the first console where I played Rayman Legends. So I'm a bit sad of course that this comes to an end. But look at this Pyro doing some flex here. Hmm, I guess I will start playing with you know, with a good distance, I guess that's fine. It is very cool that we end with, uh, you know, a Murphy distance because this is a very cool challenge to show what makes the Wii U version cool compared to the other versions that were ported. Because you can control Murphy, yeah. And also, uh, I'm not controlling this Globox, so yes, I, I need to save him and go as far as possible. Even though, well, he can't go that far because he's quite dumb. I started Rayman Legends on Wii U on April 2013, way before the game released, with a demo with online features called the Challenge Up. Then I bought the game a few months after it's released. Even though I've never constantly played the game for 10 years, I've still played it a lot of time. This game is by far the game I've played the most. I've played it for 8500 hours on Wii U and 2700 hours on Nintendo Switch. And even though I would still prefer Mario Kart rather than Rayman in general, Rayman Legends is still my favorite video game. The game has so much variety in its movement, level design, and in its content. Besides the cool story mode, you have the challenges, which I'm playing right now, but there's also a huge competition in the invasions level, which are basically time trials levels, but with a twist. They are invaded by the monsters of the four other worlds in this game. The community would have never been allowed to be developed if it wasn't for that. And what's even cooler is the Wii version, because not only do you have a great platformer, but it uses very well the main feature of the console, the gamepad. 
You can use it like me right now in order to control this ugly green fly named Murphy to help Ruth for your adventure. It's still there on the other versions, but it moves automatically and all you do is just pressing a button to use it, whereas on Wii U, you can use it freely. Having those levels where you have to use Murphy feel refreshing honestly. Moreover, on Wii U only, you can also play as Murphy everywhere if you want to enjoy some time with your friends. And I'm already seeing Bapa in the comment section, no, I don't count Murphy's glitch on Switch. Oh wait, that's hard. Bruh. Also, there's one important thing, you may wonder how we could possibly play um, challenges after the servers goes down. Well, uh, to be honest, we don't have a uh, private servers, so we won't be able to play challenges online, but uh, there's the training room where we can play challenges offline. Uh, it's a room that we can't access normally, it was used for the devs. Oh come on, I died the same spot! So yeah, it was used for the devs and uh, we can't go there normally, but with glitch and stuff, we can go there. But of course, playing uh, in training room is not the same because you can't get cups, you can't play against others, and also you can't choose the seed of the challenge you're playing on uh, without any mod or something. There are few people working on mods, maybe, but I don't think they will include much features because it's already hard to, to develop a mod and we don't have many developers or people who know how to mod in this community. Yes, I made it! I don't care. <laughs> I just want the gold. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite impossible to survive in this section. Uh, you need a specific setup and I messed up a bit. So yeah, and Perrot's still doing his casual scores. So I will try to play other challenges and get scores really quickly. Yeah, cool. Bro, how am first? Why well, I won't complain? Horror was so bad though. I'm very bad at Taurus. <laughs> anyway, Rayman Legends is a wonderful game that sadly had a disastrous communication. It got delayed several times, it got ported on several consoles, and the development itself was very chaotic. Probably the worst thing to ever happen for a game. In the end, it didn't sell that well and didn't match Ubisoft's expectations. Even if critics were very positive about the game, those bad sales resulted in cancelling a new Rayman 3D game. Damn, man. But in fact, even for advanced players, Rayman Legends is a game that not a lot of games are. It's totally broken while seeing being fun. There are so many dumb broken techniques which allow to build the competition around the challenges and invasions for 10 years, which is crazy. People got also better with time because they improved their execution. All of this led to the weird stuff like, how is it even possible to do something like that? It is very sad seeing that all these players that have played this game for not 10 years will be definitely forced to move on something else. The last thing they could do is to move on another platform, if possible not PS Vita because it's less likely to survive for a long time, but maybe moving on PS4 or Nintendo Switch like most players do. There will still be some players who won't do that like the legendary player Meth. But at least some players can continue to play the game for quite a long time, since I really doubt the servers will be done anytime soon, especially for the Switch and Stadia versions, since they are very recent. Oh wait, Stadia is no longer anything, my bad. Oh yeah, also, you may have noticed the release of this video doesn't match with the first October date I told you earlier in this video. Well, it's because Ubisoft didn't shut the servers on October 1st. Yes. 
I'm not kidding. I don't know what happened. Maybe they totally forgot about it, which is very suspicious. Or they simply didn't find a way to shut down the servers, which is pretty dumb, I know, right? But you have to know that in mid-October, all the Rayman Legends servers went down, including the other consoles not affected by the shutdown. It took Ubisoft a week before they restored all of them, including all gen, which is totally hilarious. However, we knew it wouldn't last for long, because the next time the old gen servers go down separately from new gen, we knew it was going to be the end. But nobody expected that these servers would last for so long. Even I. That's the reason I'm releasing the video only today, while most of my editing was from October 2022. Fun fact, these servers survived longer than Stadia servers, which were done since January 2023. Oh my god, this is a big joke for real. Sadly, it had to come to an end. On the 8th of April 2023, servers went down for all consoles, and as for now, neither all gen or PS Vita servers are restored. Even though PS Vita should, should be up right now, like, what is happening? But yeah, this date marks the real hand of Rayman Legends on all gen. This is definitely the end of an era for Rayman Legends. Anyway, that is for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I will see you next time. Take care.